If you're watching this video, that means you saw the title and you want to know how you're marketing wrong. Let me first describe what I see people use for their marketing and explain how it's ineffective. This is what I see all the time with freelancers, business owners, or wantrapreneurs. They post something to advertise themselves and this is what it usually consists of. Here's my name and logo. This is what I do. Here's my credentials. Hire me contact info. Now, most people probably wouldn't think that's that bad because it does provide the necessary information. The problem is that the advertisement only talks about him or herself. Have you ever been to a party where you meet someone new, start up a conversation, but for the next 20 to 30 minutes, they just talk about themselves? That is exactly what these types of advertisements feel like. Very rarely will I see a post advertising how the service provider could benefit the customer or client. Almost all of the posts that I see are just professionals talking about how good they are. Hey, uh, uh, I'm number one in the industry. Did you know that I have the best certification for this profession? You know, me and my team were in a magazine. If your marketing sounds anything like what I just said, then guess what? Anyone could remove your name and logo from that list of credentials and your potential client or customer can't tell the difference between you and your competitor. This is when having a unique selling proposition or USP becomes extremely powerful. Now it's not exactly easy creating a USP because chances are you're in an industry just as qualified as anyone else. And that's the reason why having credentials doesn't really work in your favor when you're trying to differentiate yourself from your competitors because in any industry, everyone has the same minimum requirements. To prove this point, let's use me as an example. In my industry of videography, there are tons of different cameras that a videographer could use. And cameras could range from anywhere between $200 to $50,000. For my professional shoots, I shoot with a $500 Canon SL2. There are a bunch of more expensive high-end cameras that could perform better than this one. I'm not going to explain what the differences are between all the cameras, but just know there is a huge variety in price and performance. Having said that, do you think my typical client cares what camera I use to shoot their videos? Or here's a better question. Do you even think they know anything about cameras? I mean, think about it. They're hiring someone to do something that they themselves cannot do. So advertising what kind of gear you use and the specs of that gear is just gonna fly over your client's head. So what should a post consist of if it's going to be marketed effectively? This should be blatantly obvious. You should be talking about what benefits your clients will receive from working with you. For example, the primary concerns with most of my clients are my availability and my turnaround time. So any marketing that I put out will address those concerns. Now that's just a very simple example, but you get the idea. So no more talking about how you're the best, you're number one, how many clients you have, how much you've sold, because nobody fucking cares. Well, hope you found this video helpful. If you like this video, don't be shy to show me some love and smash that like button. If you would like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing to my channel. I do have some more videos coming up. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.